All right, so I'm in the process of installing the Apple composite AV cable into a 2005 H2 Hummer. I've got the Kenwood DDX6019 head unit going into the AVN on the head unit. I found that there's not a lot of information out there on actually using the Apple proprietary cable to install it in giving you the ability to do video with the iPod touch or iPhone on your head unit. There's a couple of other cables out there but I, I think it's definitely true from what I understand that Apple has made any type of video signal from the iPod touch proprietary in that you have to buy their cable so I went and bought their cable the one interesting piece is the USB power so for now I'm just going to connect this to a uh, for ten dollars you can get a power adapter that plugs into your cigarette lighter adapter and then your USB cable plugs into that which provides it gives the iPod touch the ability to charge so in case any of you are wondering how to take apart a Hummer you have to start in the back this is the uh, entire back section. You have to remove it first. I have it sitting right here on the front. So there are two screws back here in this pocket on the very back piece of the center console where your rear, rear vents are. You have to remove those two screws <clears throat> and then there's a screw on top that you remove. Um, after you remove that, you take that out, obviously disconnect your heated seats and cigarette lighter adapter. My vehicle, I have a different head unit obviously, so I don't have the stock um, rear radio control unit, whatever the heck you wanna call that thing. Um, after you remove that, then you remove the center case, which is right over here. There are uh, four screws to remove the uh, center console. This is the actual bucket that you put all your stuff in in the center console. After you remove that, there are four screws, one, two, three, four, that you remove that take off the armrest. You see those four screws right there on the armrest. After you take the armrest off, then you have to take the uh, gear shifter switch I guess you'd call it off um, there's a screw that faces the dashboard on the backside torque nut take that off and then just pull it straight up and it comes off <clears throat> and after that you take the center console piece out with the gear shift uh, goes into with the cup holder <clears throat> there are two clips you can see right here I'm sorry three clips right there and right here that go into the um, center console piece so you have to pull up after you get the shift knob off you have to pull up on the entire unit and it comes right up and the clips will still the clips will stay behind on the dashboard piece I'm sorry on the center console piece which is right here you can see a clip that clip right there and that clip right there you have to remove those clips and put them back on the center console unit that has the gear shift lever attached and the two cup holders before you put the cup holder back on just remember to do that important step so once you get that center console piece there are two screws right here right here two screws in the back one right here and two more screws here and here, here, and here that uh, give you the ability to remove this piece, which is your pretty much your entire fascia for the center console all the way from front to the back. You can see the two hoops where the back air vents go into. So once you get that done, uh, you have your wiring set. I have this going, coming up through the bottom of my center console bucket. 
um, so I can plug my iPod in and I've just run this up in to the USB cord uh, right to here. Um, as soon as I get the dash, the rest of the center dash off, I'll continue. That leaves us up to this point. All right, so I realized I better probably preface the next step. So to get the center bat dashboard piece off, you have to undo the two, uh, I guess they're hex nuts, I don't know. Allen wrench, Allen wrenches, yeah. Uh, two of those come bring, to pull those all the way out. This fascia will come out. Yeah, you can pull it out this way, but it's still connecting down here at the bottom. There's a metal pin right here, right here right here right here in the center and down here I'll show you those after I get it off but you have to pull those all back and then down here in this section where this cable is coming up through you have to pull out and up the problem is that the cigarette lighter um, the cigarette lighters have to be disconnected from the back and there's very little slack on the wire so you can't pull it out very far on top of that. This piece here keeps you from being able to pull this unit all the way out as far as you need to. So it's a little tricky to get the cigarette lighter uh, things unhooked on the back clips. Cigarette lighter clips on the back. Uh, I'll be back with you after I get this center piece off to discuss removing the head unit.